Okay, so day one of the Cheltenham Festival, the feature race is the Unibet Champion Hurdle. And Paul Keeley, the man who loves big prices, the man who fancies a 66 to 1 shot in the Supreme, is tipping a favourite in Bouvard Air. What the hell is going on? Because uh, he'll win, because he's the best horse, simple as that, isn't it? Two-time champion hurdle winner already, wasn't wasn't at his best last year, destroyed your the love of your life, Sam Crow, earlier in the season. Don't be dissing Sam Crow now. Uh, hey, 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 listen, listen, he absolutely thrashed him, toyed with him. He was sick, Sam Crow, was he? He was yeah, very, well, very uh, sick. He said he was sick after his third run, he was just slow when he when he came against Boobard Air, he came against a horse with, with real speed. Do you remember how you woke up <clears> yesterday <throat> morning, split and headache, drank too much after Sandown, you were absolutely dying. Would you have beaten Sam, Would you have beaten Boobard Air that day? I wouldn't beat anybody any day, irrespective of how my head's feeling. Let's be honest about that, but that doesn't matter. You know, what really matters is, is how good Bouvardere is and how good these mares are. And Apple Jade, for me, doesn't like Cheltenham. Lorena is one of the silliest prizes of the week based on form against mares who would have no chance of, of, uh, of being in the first 10 and a 12 run of champion hurdle. So, you know, why... Why won't Boover Day won't win? You tell me. Well, I'll tell you because if you take last year's champion hurdle, I know you say he was sick, but just using last year's champion hurdle, Mick Jazz. Mick Jazz. Do you remember Mick Jazz? People listening to this won't even remember Mick Jazz. He's beaten three and a quarter lengths. I remember you telling everyone how good Mick Jazz was and and, and, it, and what a great race he'd run. And he did. So what's made you, what's made you change your mind now? What, what's made me change my mind is that Apple's Jade is in a completely different league to Mick Jazz. And I don't think Bouverdere could win. I know he's a different type of horse, but there's no way uh, Bouverdere could beat Super Sunday by 20 lengths in any race. Apple's Jade has hammered Super Sunday twice this year. She's a different mare this year. Don't for, forget about the two runs where she was in season. This is a new Apple's Jade. They she, figured has never been at her best at Cheltenham. But she still almost won a triumph hurdle and she's won a mare's hurdle. Yeah, she won, you know, it was a good triumph hurdle apart from the winner though, didn't it? You have to make excuses for how Ivanovic Gorbachev won, won that one. Um, but yeah, look, look, she's good. I, I actually want her to win. Right, but I am well, you'd be happy so, because she will. Well, you know, I, 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 you know, I'd just be worried about her Round here, I don't think she acts around here. She's run much bigger figures every season away from this place. But I know you. I know you very well. And you don't tip up a short price favourite unless you're convinced they will win. So you must be pretty convinced Boover there is going to win. Well, you have to, you know, you, you, have, to, you have to take a view at some point, don't you? Right? And I think the one who, is, who has got the less, least question marks about it is Boover there. I think you're wrong. I think he is the most approved. There well, you go. You might be right. But against me, you never have been yet. I have never won one of these arguments. I have... How many points of Guinness have I bought you? Uh, you only bought me two. That's supposed to be a lifetime supply you were supposed to get me, and I've had two so far. In yeah, a well, year. you're not dead yet. <laughs> it won't be long, son. <laughs>